Here we are, one more time with the green ruckus. Today we're gonna be installing this uh, Luso nut buster. What this is gonna do for you on your ruckus, it's gonna mount right in between your rear frame and your front frame. It's gonna add some structural support so you can get the frame cracking right here. And on top of that, it just looks good. Look at that thing. Full billet machine, solid. Just nice, classy piece. First thing first, Put that back on your magic bench in here. We're gonna move the uh, battery box. They have little tiny ass screws. Mm, like glasses. All right, you made it this far. You took off the battery box. You're gonna graduate to the next level. So just to show you some of the uh, mounting points, we're gonna be using this guy right here. And these two holes, one there, one there. These two, we're gonna drill them out with a 10 millimeter drill bit. We'll mount our back brace, and then we'll mount our top brace. Then we'll get to the real naughty stuff where we gotta start drilling into this uh, battery box here. 10 millimeter drill bit. Get that loaded, let's drill some holes. One. Woo! Smoking! God damn! It smells wonderful. The other thing you're gonna have to get rid of is this handy dandy tab. It's quite unfortunate because I liked it to uh, hold the fuel line in place in there. Yeah, like wiggle that off. Now you have this little booger weld in there. I'm gonna tape up the sides and we're just gonna grind that flush without doing too much damage to the paint. And then, come in here with this guy, bolt that down. So that's as flush as it's gonna get without doing any more carnage. We're gonna grab this guy, take it apart, separate the two, take your hardware off, I hope that's self-explanatory. Now you need a bigger hammer. All right, uh, once you kind of have that mounted into place, run these all the way down. Get your two uh, 17 millimeter nylocks, put those on the back. You don't snug everything up yet, just kind of leave it, leave it as it is. We're gonna pull that 10 millimeter bolt out. I don't want you guys breaking your necks over this thing because it's so hard, all right? Day's shot. Day's shot. <laughs> you made it this far. Go grab a beer. A you earned Crown it. Crown Royal. <laughs> Crown Royal. That'll forever live on, dude. Only the OGs will know. Yeah. All right. Now, get this fancy medancy little piece. M6. Run that through. If you take a look at this, it just fits nice and snug to that, to the shape in there. If you have it upside down, like so. Uh, wrong. Don't do it like that. Same thing. Just kind of run it through. Don't torque it down all the way. You want some adjustment. In there. Cool. So that's that's that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets really scary. This is why most of you don't purchase this. You guys are afraid. I've made this template right here that's gonna help out tremendously. So it's just a one and done. You guys don't sit there hacking at your battery box and uh, having to buy another one. Go in there, trim this bad boy up. Kinda has a funny shape too if you look at it, huh? What's that look like to you? Demonetized. <laughs> what is this 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 diagram that comes with this truly? What are we trying to convey here? What's the message? Cool. We got a little template done. Get this. We got to recycle. The reason why you guys are all here. We make this happen today. First, you're gonna have to remove any hardware buttons, extra goodness that you have in the back. And that requires extreme force. It looks like the. F 
fucking world is ending out there. <laughs> that was perfectly timed. All right, this is now the hardest part. All right, so we couldn't take these buttons off. They've been like locked tighter than there. We're gonna improvise in here a little bit because we're just pretty much shooting in the dark over there. I'm gonna cut these out with the razor blade so we can lay them over our buttons since we can't put it against the light to see uh, the location of it. Arts and crafts. All right, cool. Now I'm pretty pretty satisfied with that. That looks good. You can take a look. All right, next up, you can get yourself one of these little ice picks. Go to the center of these, each one of these holes. And just leave an indent. What that's gonna do is gonna transfer to the back side of the paper into your battery box. We're gonna use that as our drill guide. X marks the spot. Back to the drill bit. This time we're gonna use quarter inch drill bit. Back to the tape, get your roll, and then now we're just gonna kinda connect the dots. It's a lot like preschool, connect the dots. Cool. So this tape is gonna act as a, as a guideline for you to cut through here, and it's also gonna protect from you and your unsteady hand. We're gonna get the Dremel with the cutting disc on there. Make sure it's nice and secure, and here goes nothing. done everything right you came this far you should be able to just you're gonna see so some of these corners have a little bit of residue sitting on the sides you can knock it off with your finger and there you go probably gonna smooth things out just a little bit more um, especially right here just kind of gold up all right something that kind of surfaced a little bit earlier when we were mocking this up is that the gap from here to here was a little bit short uh, on my ruckus, which is like what the OGs that doesn't have a PCB valve on the rear frame, it lines up perfectly. And I'm guessing there must be a variance between the older frame, rear frames, and the newer frames. A uh, solution that we came up with was just putting this half inch spacer to kind of compensate the length for the uh, nut buster. So I'm gonna kind of mock this up in here, give you an idea what I'm talking about. So right now this meets eye to eye and earlier it was just way too short there's no way to get it to go all the way up for now that's the best solution that we came up with and now uh, we're going to kind of show you how to work past it first thing first we're going to get this guy and we're going to mount it down here and get your m10 bolt Turn through. put a couple turns we'll snug it up or nothing and now you can get your battery box and run it through the nut buster. So once you're in and you have this guy on here, have it just snug enough so you can slide it up and down, but it kind of still stays in place. Get your other bolt in here. You're gonna have to work these together, the battery box and the nut buster, so you're not crushing things. Once you're in there, run that bolt through all the way. So now that that's in, I would like to have this. So it kind of has a little bit of adjustment so you can line up the battery box hole uh, accordingly to the nut buster so it's not too high or too low. So what I found is if you go all the way up, you're gonna be in a better situation. So, like I said, just kind of snug it up. Not all the way tall, but just snug it up. So now we're going to test fit our battery box. So 
So that's mocked up there. I would say we have a pretty about similar gap. I might go up a little bit more in here just to kind of fill in that void a little bit. But overall, I mean, that's going to be your finished product. So now that's why we didn't tighten that bolt all the way up just so you can adjust it. Well, it's on the bike in there. And there you go. So now the next step is just break it down all the way. Snug up all the bolts. And now successfully install the FLPD so it's not busted. I'm gonna grab some cinematic mode shots real quick.